Judd buys a tea set. Judd is now a tea person. And his life takes on a different sort of color. His hair is long and his clothes are ragged. And what about those new ideas? What ideas? How he imagines he is boiling on the inside. His steam is shrieking with a certain je ne sais quoi, hailing tie-dye hemp and the unharmonized music. Melody, drone, drum. <laughs> Judd writing poems in his parents' basement with inspiration in the leaves of his plants. What inspiration? I agree. The poems lack direction. Without a job. Yes. Yes. But what Judd knows now is a lot. Judd knows that white tea is simply picked, whereas black tea is rolled, fermented, and air-dried. What a fact. And here's another one for you. Did you know that Buddha died from eating pork cooked with mushrooms? Judd knows this, but what about his problems? Judd cannot breathe on land. Is he a fish? Well, his skin is hard gold and shiny, so why don't you tell me, asshole? <laughs> Judd is a fish with a girlfriend. Girl, because of a certain agreed-upon connection between identity and genitalia among fish. Friend, because of a certain undefinable connection he shares with her. The same girl who protests the statue of Gaia on the toilet. Everybody poops. Yeah, they do. But Judd does other things as well. Judd buys a Volkswagen bus. He paints it shades of orange to form a bus. That is, he paints a picture of a bus on the side of a bus, and he installs a radio that plays only Bob Dylan songs sung by Kanye West. <laughs> I want to fuck you hard in a sink of flowers. Free love bound. Oh, how the rhymes are changing. Just like Judd himself. Brewing his tea leaves in the car parked in his mother's garage. Steeping each leaf for 27 seconds each. So that each tea leaf lives smooth and young. And each tea leaf dies beautiful. What a romantic. He is a romantic, and he quite imagines that his mind corset is loosening. That certain here too constrained facilities are beginning to breathe for the first time. The air dry. This next poem is in German, but you only have to know one word, and it's Schützengraben, which means trench. It's based on a poem by Ernst Jandl.
next one uh, is called Tuesday's Errands. I was in the post office for a stamp and I asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell and he was quite courteous but quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer like a Venetian bath. I was in the post office for a stamp and I asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell. And he was quite courteous but quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer, like a Venetian bath. I was in the post office for a stamp, and I asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell, and he was, he was quite courteous, but he was quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer, like a Venetian bath. I was in the post office for a stamp, and I asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell, and he was quite courteous, but quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer, like a Venetian bath. I was in the post office for a stamp, and I asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell, and he was quite courteous but quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer, like a Venetian bath. I was in the post office for a stamp, and I asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell, and he was quite courteous but quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer, like a Venetian bath. I was in the post office for a stamp and asked the sweating man for a brown nine center with an eagle or the Liberty Bell, and he was quite courteous, but quick to inform that intruding sunlight made the tile at its feet much warmer. Like a Venetian bath, I was in the post office for a stamp, and I asked the sweating man for brown nights and with an eagle or the Liberty Bell, and he was quite courteous but quick to inform. <laughs> and intruding sunlight made the tile at his feet much warmer. Like a Venetian bath. This next one uh, is a translation of a Gottfried Ben poem. Um, it's called The Bad Things. The Bad Things. Hearing about a good English crime novel that isn't translated when you don't know English. Seeing a beer in the heat that you can't afford. Having a thought that you can't develop into a hurdle-line verse like the professors do. Hearing waves crash while traveling at night and telling yourself they always do that. Very bad. Being invited out when the rooms at home are quieter, 
the cafe better and no conversation necessary. The worst, not dying in summer when everything is bright and the earth soft for spades. Last one does not have a title.